So I'm on my way to the store to go and get some cream. Slept in this morning. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. That's sleeping in for me. So I was thinking about something this morning in bed when I woke up that um, I was thinking about the story in the book of John, the gospel of John, the Lazarus story, if you will, where Jesus is with his disciples and he gets word that uh, from Mary and Martha that their brother is dead. So Jesus sticks around for another two days and then comes to see Lazarus. He tells his disciples he's sleeping. And they're like, oh, that's cool. He's going to get better. And he's like, well, no, he's, he's actually dead. And so we must go. This is for your sake that we're going to go there. And I want to show you some things. Goes there. Martha shows up and said, Lord... If thou hadst been here, my brother hadn't died. Wouldn't have died. And then he says, your brother will rise again. And Martha says, I know that. I know that in the last day, my brother will rise. And Jesus said, I and the resurrection. I'll go back to that. But she put a condition on Jesus saying, if thou had been here, he wouldn't have died. Then when Mary showed up, she was weeping at his feet. This time towards the front. Later, we see her weeping behind him at his feet pouring ointment preparing him for a burial she weeps in front of Jesus saying if thou hadst been here then my brother wouldn't have died and Jesus wept this was too much too much emotions all the Jews that loved Lazarus were there as well weeping so jesus groaning went to the grave and said lazarus come forth so it's interesting that mary and martha put conditions on jesus if thou if thou <clears throat> what's interesting is in the bible there are about 309 conditional statements in the bible if thou statements, if you will. In computer programming, if then is called a conditional statement. Meaning, <clears throat> if this is provided, then this should happen. If this is not provided, then this won't happen. Something else will happen. So they call them if then statements in computer programming. It's the rule. It, there's no emotion behind it. It's just, if this happens, then this must happen. That's a condition. <clears throat> it's all through the Bible. We see Cain presenting his gift, his offering, onto the altar before the Lord. And his face was downcast. I think he was prepping already to murder his brother Abel. And God looks at him and said, If thou do the right thing, won't your offering be accepted? Condition. If you do the right thing, your offering will be accepted. If you don't, sin lieth at the door. You must master it. Conditional. You see, all through the Bible, humans putting conditions on God. And God also putting conditions on people. He put a condition on Abraham. He said, if thou can count all the stars, that's how many descendants you're going to have. If you can count the sand on the sea, on the seashore, that's how, that's how many descendants you'll get. 
Abraham make, makes a conditional statement with Lot. If you, if thou go to the right, I'll go to the left. <clears throat> if thou go to the left, I will go to the right. Gideon also makes a conditional statement. If thou put water all on the grass around this fleece, but the fleece is dry, then I know you're with me. And then he put another conditional statement. If the ground be dry and the fleece wet, then I know you're with me. God put conditional statements on Pharaoh saying, if thou don't let my people go, then you're going to get all these plagues. If thou don't let my people go, then I am going to take your firstborn and everyone's firstborn, including your animals in all of Egypt. If thou, conditional. If thou worship the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, then you'll be blessed. In the New Testament, we see tons of conditional statements as well. A lot of times it's from the Pharisees. If thou art who you say you are, then show us plainly. Stop with these riddles. Stop with these parables. You know who else put conditions on God? The devil. If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be bread. If thou be the Son of God, throw yourself off of this building and the angels will catch you. If thou will worship me, I will give you all of these kingdoms on the earth. Conditional. Conditional. Emotionless. The devil was emotionless on that one almost mocking Jesus we get Jesus in front of Pilate art thou the son of God art thou the king of the Jews and the Pharisees if you're the king if you're this if you're that it's all these conditions and then when Jesus gets to the cross he is nailed to the cross and people are railing on him as they're walking by. He hung on the cross for six hours, not able to breathe. And as they were railing and spitting at him and mocking him, they said, if thou, <coughs> if thou be the son of God, sticker thing comes off here. If thou be the son of God, come down off the cross and we will believe one of the thieves was railing on Jesus if thou be the Christ get yourself off this cross and us save yourself and save us he said he could build a temple in three days let him come down off the cross and save himself Look at this. He can't even save himself off the cross. We put conditions. Well, here's, here's the ultimate condition that Jesus Christ, Christ put on us. If you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died on the cross and he rose again on the third day, you will be saved. You will have eternal life. Another condition that we give each other when we're married, we promise, we say, I do. If thou marry me, I promise not to hurt you. I promise not to harm you. Why? Because you're my bride. I am your husband. This is why I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. 
Jesus Christ will not hurt his bride. He is the husband. He will not hurt his body. So if you got something out of this, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Let me know where you're from. Or let me know where you're from. And I appreciate that. So if thou watched this video, then subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.